at a restaurant in our hotel. What's it called? Duomo Terrazza. And this hotel is gorgeous. Love it. It's in the Duomo. And this is the view. Little, little toasty, but it's so worth it. So worth it. Mm. This feels good. Okay, we just get a little street vendor. I love this building right there. Can you imagine having that spot right there? So pretty. We are, huh? Gelato. Gelato. The gelato on every corner. So, we are walking around. I don't know. We are, we're, I don't know where we are. <laughs> we just kind of got here, relaxed a little bit in the hotel room, which is fantastic, by the way. I've not shown you it yet, but I will. It's um, a new hotel called the Glamore Duomo Milano. Milano Duomo, something like that. Buonasera. What you gonna get? Ooh, look at all these. Cone, special cone. Bottom? Yeah, yeah, with pistachio. Uh, yes. I'm sure you all No, we're good. Well, HP gets his gelato on. <laughs> oh, recommendations and everything will probably come in a like wrap up video of like our itinerary, the places we stayed, what we recommended, what we didn't recommend. There were some flops on this trip, quite a few flops, but we had some really good saves, like quick recoveries by like switching up reservations or like kind of tailoring the trip to what we wanted. Um, we did use a travel agent, but don't think we'll use them again, but um, it's been fantastic. Andiamo. Mm. Mm. Perfect. That's what I needed. Good, baby. I'm glad. Mm. Buona sera. Okay. Huh? Show me a show. Listen to that thunder. Look at the shower with the views of the Piazza del Duomo in the background. Open. Wow. Thought it would be more lit up. Beautiful. We've got Gucci right there. <laughs> Going to see the Last Supper. So excited. We have our own personal tour guide today. Patrika. Petra? 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 Maybe? I need to look at her badge again. Yeah. They are too big and too large. Mm. And we don't need them anymore. So So they were purposely destroyed? On, yes. on purpose? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Huh. And that was the home of the family. So the big difference between the castle People coming from the north, we call them in a, we are very bad uh, word which is not appropriate to the barbarians. Mm -hmm. but it's, it's not the right. Can you see there are the signs of the bicycle? Because there is a lady yeah. coming uh -huh. here every morning. Oh wow. Every day at noon and in the evening. And these cats are fed three times a day. She is paid by the city of Milano. The <laughs> city is small, so usually we should not have oh, baby that. cats. Because they are stabilized in wants to get the bird. Um, spring. Ah, and okay. Something always is wrong. Yeah. And you have new cats <laughs> every year. Oh my gosh. And so they have a job here? They they hunt the rats or whatever? Si. Yeah. Allora, I mm -hmm. tell you now something you don't like me. It's like 300 years of dynasty. Only 
Nazi? No, sorry, three of them died of natural death. <laughs> All other medieval times. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that was, they used to be very spoiled, okay? They used to go to the first floor with the horse. So they ride the horse to the first floor. Oh, it's an elevator. Like elevator. <laughs> Bravissima. Oh. Of course, they, in many cases, they came back from hunting. Uh -huh. So, and, uh, and back. And so they come here, they ride until yeah. they arrive. Imagine our Leonardo walking here where we are <laughs> and knocking at the door and telling, Hi, boss, what can I do today? So, 20 years Leonardo worked for the spots of Emily. So, he came here, he was doing. I'm thinking louder than my brain can take. Have to say something, but words fade away. Dinner, I mean, sort of a late afternoon lunch good. at a place called Joseria, I think. Joseria. We're just passing the Scala Opera House, which I wish I would have thought to get uh, tickets to in time, but that's not going to happen. What are you doing? Finding directions? Yeah. 0.3 miles away. Seven minutes. What? Oh. And to walk around for a little bit. get into our hotel because it's very unique. So going through here. Glamore. Buonasera. Buonasera. Huh? Yeah we live in. Buonasera.
What do you want to do now? Shower and relax. You're tired. Well, it's tired. How many steps? <clears throat> 16,000 steps. What about me? No, 16,654. Dang. So this is a hotel. So if you guys want to stay here, it's brand new. Sort of non-traditional because I don't know even if they have room service. There wasn't really like a walkthrough of services they offer or even if they have like a spa. It's five-star hotel, so I don't know. 21,136 steps. What? That's bullshit. All right, so while HB takes a shower, I'm going to show you what I got today. Yesterday, I picked up two of my classic Uniqlo Supima Cotton short sleeve t-shirts because I was desperately in need of a clean, fresh white shirt. So that is here. And by the way, these are my favorite things that I've discovered in Italy. I don't know why I haven't come across these before in my travels to Italy, but I'm so glad to have discovered these because these are my newest obsession. Tarali. Taralini. Taralini. Kindle here. This is the Kindle Fire I've been reading a little bit on. And I went to this really cool, like my goal today was to go to like an old parf like, perfum perfumeria. Um, like a perfume shop. I didn't bring any perfume with me on this trip. I wanted a break for my nose, for all like scents and everything. I was like in a mindset to really kind of give myself a break. And it's funny because my nose has like picked up on all these, the smells of, of Italy. It's, like everything smells so good. And um, I don't know, I, don't, I keep telling, what's that smell, what's that smell? I smell like tobacco. I smell sometimes like occasional flowers, like neroli and jasmine sometimes. and. It's just, it's Italy, you smell good. Okay, so I went to this like boutique and I guess it's not really, I mean, clearly it's apparently a chain, but whatever. Um, I didn't know that at the time, but I walked in and it was like all these brands, some I had heard of, some including Miller Harris, which you guys know I talked about in my 2022 favorites as my favorite perfume <clears throat> of the year. These are a bunch of samples. And I picked up a lipstick, <laughs> oddly enough. This one is from Byredo. I didn't even know they made makeup. I don't know really anything about Byredo. Um, I have one perfume and I never wear it. It's a little heavy. Maybe I'll start wearing it again. But this is so my color, you guys. I'm sorry, the lighting is not great here. It's really not designed for filming but this one the color is called I didn't even look at the color flower play that was really pretty look how pretty hmm? not so pretty it's like a pinky corally color and I'm not even sure color stick like where is it lipstick all right now the big thing <clears throat> Maison Revace, of course, is not an Italian brand. I was looking for an Italian brand, but they only sold um, French. So this one I'm really excited about because I wanted a scent that would remind me of Lake Como, Lake Lugano, sort of this like Italian, Northern Italian lakes. There's this scent of like maybe bergamot, um, some like a slight hint of floral, but then a freshness that I was really looking for. And I smelled, I, I started getting a headache of smelling all these perfumes. But when I tell you I smelled this one, it was the perfect blend of vanilla and what is it? Yeah, so cedar, vanilla, jasmine, absolute, ylong, ylong, uh, bergamot, and galbanum. galbanum. I love the packaging for this one. Look how beautiful, look. And how beautiful it is. It's called Vanilla Riviera. And I love that it's in this nice packaging so that it will last the trip back home. Okay. Good spray bottle. Oh my God. It smells so good. I'm so excited about that because I, I love getting a perfume or like making one where like, you know, nobody else has it. That may not the case here. This is probably a well-known brand. I've just never heard of it because I'm sheltered, but I am loving it because it's not sort of like something you could get at Sephora. So these are made by different people. Okay, so this one was made by Julie Massey. 
free reign collection inspired by the French Oriental origins of its founder and is his encounters with some of the greatest perfumers of his time. Maison Bourbaci offers a free reign collection around emblematic raw materials, like a bridge between East and West. How cool. So this one is made by, I guess, perfumer Julie Masse. I need to get in touch with her. Looking for a perfumer. This one is Natalie Feistower. Ombre Blanc. She knew. Spicy, woody, amber. I'm going to come back and I'm going to get this, don't you know? No, I picked right. I made the right choice. It's very nice. All right, so I'm going to cozy up. We're going to watch a movie. I think we're going to watch Da Vinci Code. One of the things that I think is going to become a new tradition for us now and I think that everybody should oh I also got some other stuff I think everybody should participate in this if they can is we've been watching movies that are set in the town that we're in so we go on Google and we're like you know it's the nighttime we're getting ready to settle in and we're like all right movies lo set shot in Milan movies shot in Lake Como and so we've been watching all these places and like like we're like ah, look, there's where we were right so like, for example, when we were in Como, we watched Casino Royale, the James Bond film. Uh, we watched episode two, Star Wars, because that's set all, all, both of those movies are set on the same villa on the peninsula in Lake Como that we had direct ice eyeline um, visual sight of, which is really cool. Tomorrow is a big shopping day, and wow, I can't believe I did that many steps. That might be the most steps I've ever done. Let me show you real quick. I'm going to go to uh, Monte Napoleone, which is a famous sort of like Beverly Hills, uh, Rodeo Drive type area, shopping district, fashion district. And I'm going to show you, I picked up some essentials from Mac just to tide me over. I didn't bring a single powder and it has been boiling and I haven't had anything to set my foundation. So I got that. And I've been really, really interested in brown eyeliner and brown like liquid liner. And I was looking for the Stila one and I still am probably gonna get that, but this one is like, okay, let me try this one. It's from MAC. It's their brush brown, brush stroke. The color is brush brown. The, the product is called brush stroke 24 hour liner. And it is in like a black brown. Probably not as brown as I want, but that's okay. And then this color excess gel pencil eyeliner eyeliner crown gel in the color nudge nudge ink ink look at that it's so pretty it's like a bronzy like rusted brown it was really really pretty so i'm excited about these and i will see you in the morning So, just through at Hermes. Now I'm waiting in line at Goyard. First time. First time at Goyard, so we'll see. I don't know how long it's gonna be. slight change of plans. Last night when we were getting ready for dinner, we got a text message that our flight was canceled from Heathrow to Houston. And they're like, yep, yeah, we have um, another one in four days. So we're like, nope. So we had to like cancel our flights and get a refund with British Airways. And then scrambled to find flights back home for the same sort of time frame. I managed to luck out. We got like the last two seats on um, Lufthansa. So Lufthansa to Frank uh, Milan to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Houston. Um, I got, still gotta do my tax refund but it's not open until 6 and we board at 5.50 so I'm gonna hope that I can get it done in Frankfurt. I don't know if I can. 
It might have to be from the country that it was originated, or it might have to be, it might be okay if it's just European Union, but. Move over there. Yeah. Hello. Ready to see our girls? Yes. Go early. Yeah. We're gonna be home earlier than expected, which is actually really nice. Only, only downside was we had to <laughs> we had to leave at three thirty this morning. Do you want me to grab your headphones? The uh, Lufthansa lounge is nice. See? Matches my travel decor. <laughs> no, I want to stretch up. Yeah, it's better here.